Hello Wild Coin Nation, welcome to the fourth edition of the walk where you can get a little more insight on our coaches and players of the day. We've got Mr. Excitement himself, Senior Jordan Harris. You ready to take this walk? Jordan? Yes sir. Alright, here we go. We came out like gangbusters against Maribel. I tell you what, do you do anything in particular to get ready for the games? For, uh, for games? I really just locked in harder. I really just, I knew I just had to just chill, relax, and then I need to go out there and do my business. Hey, now you were MVP of the Maribel game, the Battle of Pistol Creek, and you had about 279 yards, all-purpose yards, two touchdowns, now two key plays is it? Touchdown in the second quarter, you put us up, and then play at the end of the game, 80-yard pick all the way. Kind of go through that last play with us. Uh, we was in, I think we was, might have been in drive, and I knew they were going to try to go deep. So I just sat back, I watched the ball, it came straight to me, and I didn't think about stopping. So <laughs> I was, I knew I was scoring that touchdown to seal the game. So Well, playmakers make plays, and you usually come through. I remember against Gatlinburg Pitt, when we need one right before halftime, you came through. You thrive under pressure on plays like that? Uh, not you, really. Uh, you just, you just, I just do my thing, just act normal, really. Well, it comes through at very important times. Now, I remember when you were a sophomore, I think you made your coming out party against the second or third game, Austin East. Yep. You remember the play? I do. You blew somebody up. Can you remember? Just tell us a little bit about that play. Really, I just seen a, a we was in rock, and I seen I seen that three uh, bubble, so I knew <laughs> I had a trigger hard. So I was trying to. I was trying to kill him. Now, you had a pregame interview against Maryland. I mean, we haven't won in about three years. I want to make my senior year undefeated, beat them, most definitely beat them, and then undefeated. Tell us a little bit how that felt as a senior to win that game. It felt great. I love the feeling of being Maryland. Anytime we beat Maryland, even if I'm not playing, I love the feeling of being Maryland. I can't, I can't deal with it. Now, I hate the, them. the kids at Alcoa, the communities and you take time for them kids oh, a yeah. lot why is that important to you it's just they're just like my little mini me's they just all want to <laughs> be like me and i just i like i love kids i can tell honest. you get along with them mm -hmm. and you know speaking of kids i remember since you was in kindergarten mm -hmm. there's one thing i do remember about you jordan every day because i loaded y'all with the bus y'all you, mm -hmm. you would never get on the bus until you made sure your little sister, little sister. Jason was mm -hmm. on. So I respect that. Why is family important to you? Uh, it's really all I, I love them to death. I love them so much that they just mean everything to me. I can and... tell. Well, now listen, you're a state champion in track. Are you going to try to continue that along with football in college? For sure. I'm, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to try to, anywhere I go, I'm going to try to get a offer in track too. What you run a 40 in? Uh, about 4 or 5. Okay. Uh, to get it down. The way you ran off from them Maribel defenders, they, 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 they were like little schoolgirls running there. All right, your mom's your biggest fan. Did you do anything special to celebrate that Maribel game? Mm -hmm. her? Or just Not like really. We just chilled. She she told me, you know, I always get a pregame talk and a little after game. She gives talk. you a pregame talk. Not like a talk, just a pregame text. Okay. To say that pregame text. Now off the field hobbies. Um, I don't really have it. I don't really do nothing. Okay. Uh, best trash talker. Who's the best trash talker on the Me. Team? Now, favorite color? Favorite color, red. Favorite restaurant? Uh, Zaxby's. Favorite food? Uh, chicken. Uh, dessert? Uh, really anything. Video game? Uh, PS4, really just any of them. Sport other than football? The track. Music you listen to? You play Rap. Alright. Movie or TV baby. show? Uh, nah, nah, nah. NFL favorite college team? Uh, Texas. Got an NFL team? Seahawks. All right. Who's your favorite player? Uh, Cam Chancellor. Uh, you like summer, winter, fall, or spring? Uh, summer. All right. The walk is done, Jordan, and you did a good job. Thanks. Now listen, go vote for him. He's a five-star prep. Uh, we need to go vote for him. He needs to get that. That's important to Alcoa and him. He's deserved it. We hope you'll learn a little bit more about big Jordan Harris, Mr. Excitement. And we're going to give a shout-out. You got a shout-out to anybody? No, not really. All my right. Mom. 
she got to give a shout out, yeah. Mom. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give a shout out to uh, Heath Dunkel and Two Hype Sports, all the coverage they do at Blunt County, and also our boys here at Alcoa Football. Thanks for joining us in this fourth edition of the Walk. It's time to go get those hikes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go tornado.